Paul Hagner here. Today we're going to get into special ant mutation reforms. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So as mentioned, we're going to be talking about the soldier ant. Um, or I'm sorry, the special ant mutations that you can do and what they're best suited for. Um, before, and this is by request by a member of our Discord and a avid viewer. Uh, before we get into that, got to get into user shenanigans. This video is sponsored by Aptoid. We're using my code EGNA3. You can get anywhere from 5 to 65% off all in-game purchases if you are an Android user. A simple description as to how to do so and everything will be down in the description down below as well as a video guide to be able to let you be able to do so. We're all hurting for money in this economy so this is a great way for you to save a little bit more money. You don't have to pay tax on any of this so not only do you get your percentage off but you also get tax money off of each of your in-game purchases which makes events a lot cheaper. It also helps me out to be able to continue to Put out content and do giveaways and such like that. So again, that's Igne3 using Aptoid. Full description will be down below. Also down in the description down below will be a link to the Discord that you can participate. There's a lot of um, very like-minded people and very helpful people that are happy to help people. Uh, we don't, if somebody wants to come in and debate or uh, doesn't agree with what somebody says, you're completely fine to go in there because it has nothing to do with it and we're all human we're occasionally wrong on the things that we say so this is a great place for you to be able to go and be able to talk and have some actual friendly conversation uh, on top of that there's currently 68 point uh 16 i'm sorry 69 percent of you that are watching my videos weekly and are not subscribed it doesn't cost you anything please 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 i i hate to sound like every other youtuber but please just hit that like Hit the subscribe, leave a comment because it really helps out and allows me to be able to continue doing this every week. All right, so we'll get right into it. So we'll get into the mutations first and I'll go right to left and also the ones I haven't unlocked. Uh, so the first one I'm going to talk about is Hunt. This one's actually controversy and I honestly do not know if I'm correct on this. So if I'm not, please let me know in the Discord or in the comments down below. Um, but I've done some testing with the Golden Spiny, which has a hunt feature as a um, special land skill. I have not specifically tested this one, but I do believe it still works. Uh, so it has the damage dealt to wild creatures and in the squad experience plus. Obviously experience plus is when you're hunting like insects and stuff to be able to level up your, your ants and stuff. Um, but I do believe that the wild creatures for this, as well as the hunt for the Golden Spiny, does indeed work against Pangolin and Groundhog. I might be wrong on that. I have not tested that specifically, so if you have any proof or anything, I would love to discuss it. Um, but I personally, I put my Crimson Pearl in there for everything but Guardian Day uh, for doing Pangolin and for doing Groundhog. It does seem to help me quite a bit, to be honest. Uh, so, like, for Groundhog, uh, right now, I'm running, um, I'm a shooter main, so I'm running Crimson Pearl, uh, Wild Zerker, and, uh, Lathy when I'm doing, uh, Groundhog, same with, like, Shooter Day. Um, I have other videos on this, but, like, for Pangolin Day, uh, for Guardians, I'm running, uh, Parada, uh, eight, uh HP, and Leaf Devour. Carrier Day, I'm running uh, Crimson Pearl, um, um, Golden Crystal, and LB. So they give you kind of a reference of what I use for each of these on each of those days for PvE. So you can kind of play around. I usually try to keep my front line will be the one that I use like Hunt on. And then I'll sh when I go down the line, I'll show you the other ones that I use for PvE days and fighting. All right, so the next one uh, is in his squad defense. Uh, I, I personally run a Guardian Shoe Shooter, uh, so this one is not really as important. Uh, so I actually put this like on my unit uh, three or unit two. 
uh, to be able to just kind of give it a little edge. Uh, but again, with the front line of that one. All right, then we get into attack, which is one of the first ones you can unlock. Uh, because I'm running a normal damage um, type squad right now uh, in PvP, uh, which is like the Ada, Wise Berserker, and um, well, what the hell am I running right now? Yeah, the Ada Weaver Wise Berserker, which actually I need to switch that around. Uh, I will switch that around for that such scenario. fix that real quick okay um now obviously the the weaver uh enhances the attack to other lines so that's why i put that into the attack uh, when i'm running like pangolin or anything else like that i'll put my second line in there which on shooter day would be the lathy and then uh for like the guardian day would be uh hp or leak devour carrier day would be I put golden crystal in that one. All right, so, and then you have invading squad attacks, squad defense. Um, this one doesn't really matter because it's literally just when you're invading hills. Uh, tiles don't count. Uh, towers don't count. The usual, so it's kind of a worthless overall skill, uh, unfortunately. Uh, when defending, squad attack, squad defense. So with that one, uh, if, that's if you get hit, um, which from what I've been able to test, it does work in towers and tiles. Again, uh, if I'm wrong, um, I'm happy to discuss it and debate about it. Uh, so I put that on my guardian unit uh, because usually that's the unit that I'm leaving home anyway to be able to defend and then you got uh squad health again health is just great overall uh, i personally have it on my unit one um, because as you can see i have my pro set up for attacking and doing as much skill damage as possible and normal damage um, so for me personally i have that on my unit one which is my def defense and it's also like a secondary uh, attacking unit all right, then you have uh, skill defense. So skill defense is a little bit underrated, uh, honestly. Um, skill defense does a large range of things, and I actually I have not been able to confirm it yet, even though in my calculations it would make sense. I had somebody that's uh, very close to the devs tell me that skill defense actually does um, attribute to PvE and PvP. Uh, I have not been able to have the chance to be able to prove it, so look out for a future video on that uh, because I will be covering that once I can have a definitive answer. Uh, but again, that's just telling you what, what I was told by somebody that got the answer from uh, the devs themselves that worked very closely with them. But regardless, uh, skill defense does work in PvP no matter what, which we do know that um, is speculation on the PvP, or PvE, I'm sorry. But again, I'll have a separate video on that when um, I can fully prove that fact. And then for the last one, skill attack. Um, that's kind of a no-brainer. That works for both PvP and PvE, respectively. Uh, carrier day, I put my LB in there because it is pretty heavy on skill damage. Um, for Guardian Day, usually my uh, HP because that does a little bit higher for skill damage. And then to the ones that I don't have, in squads, shooter ants, counter to carry ants. Um, obviously, it would help for PvP, and it's going to help more as we have the new meta era ushering in with the dodge. Um, so there's that. It also helps you with like duels and such like that. Then you have the guardian ants, counter shooter ants. Again, same scenario. Um, and then you have the carrier ants, counter to guardian ants. Again. Same scenario. Uh, and then the last one, which I can only assume that as you upgrade it by level, I don't know. Uh, if somebody's a little bit further along, they can let me know. But uh, you have combat speed. And so I'm assuming by level, it will increase with the Guardian Ant probably staying as one of the top primaries, which is actually really helpful for running like a Guardian shoot Shooter. 
um, because as you know, the garden shoe shooter, typically when you're facing like a shooter to shooter or a carrier carrier carrier, they're able to hit you first, but it doesn't really matter because your guardian takes the brunt of the damage. Uh, this would increase the possibility of your guardians to be able to hit first, which in some cases can be highly uh, formidable against your opponent. So, as always, combat speed is always one of the most important stats to be able to try to increase anyway. Uh, so, any bit of combat speed helps. Uh, and based on the fact that they're showing all three types, I'm assuming they all increase per level, probably like a 0.5 per level or something like that, or 0.2 um, per level. Um, again, I don't know. Uh, if somebody does know, would love to see that. I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually have this, so it'd be great to be able to see that. All right, guys, well, kind of a short video, but uh, as per request, and I'm always happy to fulfill requests, uh, easiest way to be able to put your video requests forward is going to our YouTube. We literally have a, a YouTube Discord. We literally have a full section just on uh, video ideas and discussing past videos and such like that. So uh, please stop on over and hope to see you there. Hope to see your suggestions. And Ignis out. We'll see you in the next one.